it's here, it's here, it's really here, it's here, it's here. So I, I came in and I checked the mail and a package was there. And it's here, it's here, it's finally here. I'm gonna try it on, okay. Oh, it's so flat. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It's finally here. It came. It took like three weeks, but it, it's finally here. I love it. I'm so happy. Oh, it's so flat. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Okie dokie. So because this is a binding, binding video, I am going to be talking about tips and safety tricks and stuff on how to bind safely because unsafe binding can ruin your chance of getting top surgery later in life. Most trans guys, we want top surgery later on in our lives. No, that's not a universal thing. Just most of us. So you need to know to bind safely. Number one, and I'm sure you've heard this a million times over, never bind with ace bandages or duct tape. I mean, that's just kind of a given. It doesn't compress evenly and it's definitely not safe. It can break your ribs and leave a lot of bruising and again, ruin your chance of getting top surgery later in life. So just don't ever bind with ace bandages or unsafely. If you can't get a binder, please just bind using two sports bras. That's what I have been doing. It doesn't yield extremely flat results, but it is still something that you can do if you want to appear more flat and you can't buy a binder. Number two, never buy a binder a size too small. For instance, I was a medium. Yeah, so just buy your size. Don't try to go a size smaller. It may make you look more flat, but don't do it. It's not going to yield you good results, and it's just going to hurt a lot more. You won't be able to take it on or off, and it's just not safe in general. So don't bind with a size too small. Number three, never double bind. That means putting on two binders at a time. It may make your chest look slightly more flat, but again, it's not safe, and you shouldn't do it. This has led to many a cracked rib, and... It's just, in general, not very safe. You'll have trouble breathing, uh, trouble moving, you're gonna be very sore. So, in general, just don't double bind. Number four, make sure that you can breathe well in your binder. Make sure that you can move all around and that you aren't feeling any discomfort with the binder. Make sure that you can take deep breaths and that you're able to move around. If your chest starts to hurt, take a break from binding. It may cause a little bit more dysphoria, but it's a lot better for you, and taking a break and listening to your body is something that is good for you and you need to do when binding. Five. There are only a few brands that you should buy from, and the number one recommended would be GC2B. Buying ones on Amazon, yes, they will arrive faster and they are a lot cheaper, but they are not safe. Don't buy ones with clasps or Velcro or hooks. Those are not going to distribute pressure evenly, and it's not going to bind with your chest very well. It's going to be very uncomfortable, and it's just, in general, not very safe to do. So if you can, buy GC2B, and if you can't do that yourself, then you can ask a friend, ask them to order it, and pay them for ordering it, or something like that. Sorry I had to move into my closet to film. My family was just being really loud. So I think I left off with clasps and velcro not buying on amazon buy gc2b if you can and if your parents won't let you buy one there are other options on how to get one um you can ask a friend to get you one now a lot of people might not be comfortable asking their friends to buy them things so offering to pay for it and pay them for doing that for you is something that is a good option to <laughs> You know, you can pay them and say, hey, um, I really want to buy a binder, but my parents won't let me buy one. So you have your friend order it, you pay them for ordering it, and then you can have your binder. Remember to take breaks from binding. Binding 24-7 isn't safe. You should only bind for 8 to 12 hours as the 
order thing says can swim in a binder um the material is okay for swimming in don't ever sleep in a binder uh you don't know if you're gonna like toss and turn in your sleep and that can lead to uncomfortable positions and unsafe places where the binder may be applying pressure and that can just be generally unsafe so just don't sleep in a binder so anyway just make sure to be safe while binding and stay safe out there if you liked this video i i don't care if you didn't like it i also don't care you can downvote it or upvote it or just not do anything i really do not care <laughs> if you really hated it you can leave me another hate comment that i'm gonna read because i don't i, I currently have like two comments <laughs> anyway, make sure to always look behind you so I don't steal your kneecaps.